وَالَّذِينَ يُصَدِّقُونَ بِيَوْمِ الدِّينَ And those who confirm the truth in the day of ultimate judgment. Meaning these two things are proof. Salat, Salat, and then Sadaqa are proof. Salat because you gave up time. You give up time to make Salat. And time is an asset. Time is sometimes more valuable than money. And then of course the next major asset we have is our money. You're willing to give both of them up because you know of a much better time and a much better wealth that is coming your way. That's a confirmation that you believe in it. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ مِنْ عَذَابِ رَبِّهِمْ مُشْفِقُونَ And those who especially when it comes to the punishment of their master, from it they are terrified and they are also really afraid for their loved ones. Ishfaq actually has love in it too. Uh, Urdu speakers use shafqat. Right? It comes from the same word. Ashfaqa ala actually means I'm afraid for my children. They're afraid of the punishment of their master, but not just for themselves, from others also. Because the word by definition is muta'addi, it's transitive, so it implies for others. They fear of akhirah for themselves and for others. Inna adab rabbihim. Actually, I should mention this, this is an important concept. Allah instills in us the, the importance of giving to others, right, in this passage. Which means you care about others. You care about others that are having trouble. But if you care about them in dunya, why wouldn't you care about them in akhirah? Like if you're worried that they're going to starve here, why wouldn't, you, why wouldn't it worry you that they're going to burn in the akhirah? So it ter- your own salvation terrifies you, and their salvation terrifies you too, it worries you too. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ مِنْ عَذَابِ رَبِّهِمْ مُشْفِقُونَ إِنَّ عَذَابَ رَبِّهِمْ غَيْرَ مَأْمُونَ And no doubt the punishment of their master is not something that anybody can be safe from. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ لِفُرُوجِهِمْ حَافِظُونَ And those who, especially when it comes to their privates, especially when it comes to their privates, they guard them, they watch themselves. Now Allah mentions shame. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ لِفُرُوجِهِمْ حَافِظُونَ They're not shameless people. And Allah adds a why here to, to let us know that there could be people that take care of their salah, and they're doing good things, but they're not watching this. But all of this has to go together. And this, the Isa Mawsul is continuing, like Alladina, 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 which means we're still talking about Al Musalleen. This is all what Allah considers people who pray. I have my definition of people who pray. Guys, I see in the masjid is Musalli. This is Allah's definition of Musalli. People who pray, they're constant in their prayer. They have, they, in their minds, they have a known, known right in their wealth. For those who ask, they guard their shame. إِلَّا عَلَىٰ أَزْوَاجِهِمْ أَوْ مَا مَلَكَتَ إِمَانُهُمْ Except for the ones, uh, except for their own spouses, then they can have intimate relations. Or what their right hands possess, which we've talked about before. فَإِنَّهُمْ غَيْرُ مَلُومِينَ Then they're not to be blameworthy. No doubt about it, no blame can be put on them. Malum is the اسم مفعول of لَا مَا يَلُومُ we, we talked about ajwaf this last week. Right? مَفُولُونَ and مَفِيلُونَ You remember this? So لَا مَا يَلُومُ The اسم مفعول becomes malumun. Malumun. What's the اسم فَاعِل from it? Uh, Lama Qala becomes So Lama becomes Laimun Laimun blamer Laimun means blamer Malum means the one blamed Ghayrun Malum means they're not to be blamed They're not blameworthy Okay Now Allah mentions this Because I, as I mentioned As I told you Inna salata tanha anil Fahsha Number one thing Salat prevents from shamelessness so Allah says, if they're really musalleen, then obviously they'll guard their shame. Obviously they'll be people of haya. فَمَنِ ابْتَغَى وَرَاءَ ذَلِكْ Then whoever goes beyond those limits, pursues something else, فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْعَادُونَ Then they're the ones that have engaged in animosity. They've done, they've done an act of aggression. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ لِأَمَانَاتِهِمْ وَعَهْدِهِمْ رَاعُونَ And those who, especially when it comes to the trusts, they are entrusted with. أَمَانَاتِهِمْ And the promises that they make. وَعَهْدِهِمْ رَاعُونَ they are particularly and constantly watchful. And the uh, ara'a actually means, it's in the meaning of shepherding. You know how a shepherd watches every one of his sheep? Ara'i. Is ra'in, ra'iyan by the way, the, the page 6 of ra'in is what? Ra'in, ra'iyan, ra'in. And the jama' is what? Ra'una, ra'ina, ra'ina. That's, that's what this is. Ra'a, yar'a. This is fataha, yaftahu. Right? So ra'un, they, they, they're, they're shepherds over their promises. When a shepherd is taking care of his flock, he watches every little one of them. Even if a wolf takes away one, he's like, ah, this is one, I got 23 others, it's okay. He doesn't do that. He's constantly looking around. Anything that will come and attack any of my sheep. 
constantly looking, constantly heading them in the right direction, steering them in the right direction. Every commitment you and I make is like that. Because we're people of Salat. Because Salat is a fulfillment of promise to Allah. Salat is an amana, Salat is a ahd, Salat is a promise to Allah and a trust with Allah that we're going to come and stand in front of Him. If you get indoctrinated into that, then you realize the value of all promises. You know, one of the summaries of our entire religion in the Qur'an is, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَوْفُوا بِالْعُقُودِ It's the summary of the entire religion. Those of you who have iman fulfill binding agreements. In the, our entire, we have a binding agreement with Allah, with His Messenger, with His book, with each other, with our parents, with our wife, with our children, husband, siblings, fellow neighbors. They're all binding agreements. At the end of the day, work, business contracts. They watch these agreements. So you become punctual. You become, you know, uh, careful in what you promise, the commitments you make. You get better at saying no. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ عَلَىٰ صَلَاتِهِمْ يُحَافِظُونَ Not only are they constant on their prayers, they are the ones that guard, especially over the institution of their prayers, they guard them continually. They watch over them. They guard them means two things here. The first thing it means is the times of prayer. You, you create a, pr- a protective perimeter about, around the times of prayer. Don't tell yourself after going to sleep at 2 in the morning, yeah, I'll get up for Fajr, I think. You didn't guard your prayer. You didn't care. It was no big deal. If I pray, well and good. If not, oh well, another Fajr gone. Swing and a miss. That's not guarding your prayer. Guarding your prayer means go to sleep. Or, guarding Fajr means go to sleep early at night. That's guarding Fajr. Guarding Isha means stop. There's, it comes in, you pray. Don't take your time. Oh, there's time for... Isha, Fajr is like 8 hours away. I got time for Isha. I'll oh, maybe a little nap, then I'll pray Isha. Just a little nap, I'm tired. I mean, you, want, you wouldn't want me to pray tired, would you? Because then I can't concentrate. And you wake up, Fajr is 5 minutes left. Now it's time for Isha. This is you guarding your prayer. The moment it comes in, pray. Don't delay it. You'll mess up. You'll just mess up. Don't keep looking out at the sky at Maghrib. You're sitting there chatting, Oh, it's still kind of blue. That's bluer. Don't do that. That's not guarding the salah. The other meaning of this is what we learned, we started with Al-Musalleen and we saw these characteristics. Which according to this passage were all made characteristics of people of prayer. So guarding the prayer to this, the, this person who understands this, guarding the prayer to them has a new definition now. Is guarding all of these things. That's how I guard my prayer. How am I guarding my prayer? And I'm still a you know I'm still a cheater. I'm untrustworthy, and I don't fulfill my promises. And I don't watch my eyes. I don't you know protect my fudge. And how am I guarding my prayer? And this ayat, these ayat aren't even about the true believers. This is about just people who pray. Al Musallim. People of Salat is one part of our iman. One part of what we're supposed to do. You know in Surah Al-Mu'minun where there's a similar passage, the qualities being described are of people of Iman, Al-Mu'minun. Here, this is all just qualities of people who make Salat. 